Lee Nicole Smith. From Blend Learn Martial Arts. And we're going to review The Fighting Tomahawk Volume 2 by Dwight McLemore. Now, we did have a Volume 1 as well, a lovely signed copy, but someone has wandered off with it. We'd like it back. Strongly recommend giving her her book back. I will find you. She really will. <laughs> now, a little bit of background about Dwight McElmore. We actually met him at a conference we went to. Which one was it? I think it was ISMAC either 2007 or 2008. Yeah, it was a quite a while ago, but one of the reasons we decided to go is we were really impressed with him, and we really wanted to meet him, and we were really, really lucky that we got into his class. It was a three-day seminar on life and Tomahawk. And, I mean, he covered, like, everything from human mechanics and even going to foundational principles of martial arts, which actually influence us probably to this day. So, mm -hmm. excellent teacher. It's too bad that, to my knowledge, he's retired from teaching at events. A whole new generation of HEMA people probably would benefit greatly by taking his classes. Yeah, but, well, if you can't meet him in person, the next best thing is reading his book. Absolutely. Now, what we found is this is an amazing resource if you were at all interested in, in axe fighting. Or even any single-handed weapon, but this really goes into like how to fight with an axe, it goes into how to throw even a cut or a chop, chopping action with an axe. I mean, it's extremely detailed. If you're wondering about his source material, well... A lot of it's experimental archaeology. And what we mean by that is that he goes into things like he'll find historical accounts of duels, he'll find historical accounts of skirmishes, he'll look at things like Native American war dances and stuff like that. Put it all together, and through his own experimentation, yeah, this is what he's come up with. And the biomechanics in this book are pretty solid. I've seen a lot of people's experimental archaeology over the years that is not so good. This is really quite solid, coming from a guy who is a very experienced martial artist and has taken tons and tons of knife courses and is a top-tier knife instructor himself. Mm -hmm. And you, if you want to know more, like, and take courses with, with some of his other well-known students, you can just look at, like, John Lennox and Steve Hoff, who are both excellent practitioners of, of the fighting arts. Knife, tomahawk, bowie knife, pretty much everything. And they say a teacher is basically defined by his students, so. Yeah, he's done well. One of the other really good things about it is, in addition to being um, uh, an author, Dwight is also quite the artist. All of the illustrations in this book are done by him. And they're really clear, concise, literally step by step, you know exactly what's coming next. Fantastically done. Yeah, you can't really, it's pretty, even like a novice practitioner could benefit from using this book. So who, who would we, would we really work this well for this book? Who would be a really good person you think would be good for? Well, anybody who is interested in axe fighting. I mean, if you're into Game of, sorry, not Game of Thrones, Vikings, axe stuff, um, Native American axe stuff. If you're doing like uh, even ta tactical tomahawk stuff or you do Viking axe, like, I mean, this book is for you. Even if you just like axes and are curious about axe fighting, again, this book is for you. Literally, we could not recommend this book more. In fact, we would definitely give it our best rating. Two, Two thumbs, thumbs up. up. No problem. Mm -hmm. So if you get the opportunity, buy it, read it. Learn and, from it. And learn from it. So 50 bucks gets you 366 pages of good stuff. On Amazon. If you'd like, you can click the link below and we'll take you right there.